here's our whoops, our one and only pancreas model. For some reason, I don't know why. Um, all right. So just to get your bearings, this thing that's curving around that looks like the letter C, that's the duodenum. All right. It kind of surrounds the end of the pancreas. This end of the pancreas. Anyone know what that part of the pancreas is called? Head. That's the head. This part, what do you suppose is this called? The body. That's the body, and then this last part? The tail. That's the tail, all right? So from here over is all retroperitoneal. It's all pushed against the posterior surface of the abdominal cavity, so that's all retroperitoneal. Whereas this part sort of hangs out a little bit, and this is intraperitoneal. The tail is intraperitoneal. What's this guy over here? Spleen. That's the spleen. Good. Um, this thing inside is the pancreatic duct. And then down here, it's kind of tough to see, but you kind of have to cut this away. But down here is where you would see the ampulla of water. That The ampulla of water is where the pancreatic duct combines with the common bile duct, which is on the back side here. The two meet up, but like I said, you'd almost need, it's too bad they don't really show it here. Yet. And by the way, for your purposes, you can call this the pancreatic duct. Be aware, though, technically, this is called the main pancreatic duct, and this little guy that comes over here is called the accessory pancreatic duct. For some reason, they don't care if you know that or not. But there are actually two little ducts. And there is um, there's something called the minor papilla that you can see that marks the opening of the accessory pancreatic duct, and then there's the major papilla that's the opening of that. So that's the pancreas. Liver.